saying, you are what you eat? Macrophages, for example, eat dangerous bacteria. Scientists believe that some organelles inside a eukaryotic cell were formed when one prokaryotic organism engulfed another one. Then it lived inside and became the functioning structure of its host forming a eukaryotic cell. Organisms are made up of cells which are the basic structural and functional units of life. These cells may be categorized as prokaryotic and eukaryotic based on the presence or absence of a well-defined nucleus and membrane-bound cell organelles. An example of a prokaryotic cell is the bacterial cell. Its outermost covering, called the cell envelope, is differentiated into three layers. A capsule or mucilage layer forms its outermost layer. Inner to this is the peptidoglycan cell wall. The innermost layer is the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane acts as an immediate covering for the colorless ground substance called the cytoplasm. Embedded in the cytoplasm at the center is a nucleoid, which is formed of a single molecule of double-stranded DNA. This DNA is extensively coiled. The nucleoid is devoid of the nuclear membrane and a nucleolus. The cytoplasm is characterized by the absence of membrane-bound cell organelles like the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, plastids, mitochondria, lysosomes, etc. The bacterial cytoplasm has the presence of reserved food materials and 70 S-type ribosomes. The eukaryotic cellular organization is found in protists, fungi, plants, and animals. A typical eukaryotic cell comprises a covering of plasma membrane which surrounds the semi-liquid substance called cytoplasm. The plasma membrane is the semi-permeable membrane executing the function of exchange of materials in and out of the cell. It is the outermost covering of an animal cell, whereas a plant cell has an additional rigid cell wall outside the plasma membrane. A distinct nucleus with a nuclear membrane and a nucleolus is prominently present inside a eukaryotic cell. The space between the nucleus and the plasma membrane is occupied by the cytoplasm that helps in providing shape to the cell. It is marked by the presence of membrane-bound cell organelles like the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, mitochondria, chloroplasts, lysosomes, etc. Chloroplasts are characteristic of a plant cell and are the sites of photosynthesis. The ribosomes in a eukaryotic cell are of the 80S type. Let us summarize. Prokaryotic cell. Example, bacterial cell. Its outermost covering called cell envelope is differentiated into three layers, namely capsule, cell wall and plasma membrane. The plasma membrane acts as an immediate covering for the colorless ground substance called cytoplasm. Embedded in the cytoplasm at the center is a nucleoid, which is formed of a single molecule of double-stranded DNA. No nucleolus and nuclear membrane present. The cytoplasm is characterized by the absence of membrane-bound cell organelles. The bacterial cytoplasm has the presence of reserved food materials and 70 S-type ribosomes. Eukaryotic cell. The eukaryotic cellular organization is found in protists, fungi, plants and animals. The plasma membrane is the outermost covering of an animal cell 
whereas a plant cell has an additional rigid cell wall outside the plasma membrane. A distinct nucleus with a nuclear membrane and a nucleolus is present. It is marked by the presence of membrane-bound cell organelles. Chloroplasts are characteristic of a plant cell. The ribosomes are of ATS type. Ribosomes are present in every cell in the world. This means that they are present in both the eukaryotic cells as well as in the prokaryotic cells. If you were to isolate mitochondria or plastids from eukaryotic cells, you would also find ribosomes there. 